Proudly sponsored by HezHez.co.uk, a fast-growing boxing equipment brand that give 20% of all sales on the branded products back to a boxing gym of your choice. Hello everybody and welcome back to another niche sports video. Today I'm going to Halifax Panthers versus St Helens in the Challenge Cup and I'm very, very excited for this one. The last time I saw St Helens was um, the fateful day in at Magic Weekend when they lost 31-30 after being 36 up to the Catalan Dragons. An absolutely fantastic comeback and a brilliant game as a neutral. Um, so I'm, I'm really looking looking forward to this one. Obviously, it's an anniversary game um, from when the two sides met in met in the final. So there's a, there's a lot writing on it um, in in terms of well, not really writing on it, but in terms of it's an anniversary, you know, both sides will be going out there to you know st stamp their authority on this fixture. Um, but both sides in here have named strong strong uh, 21 man squads in uh, obviously. You know, say Saints are that league above, so their 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 strong squad is stronger than uh, than Halifax's strong squad. It's it's a different meaning as such, but um, Halifax, you know, the, the, it's it's somewhat of a free hit this game. Um, it could go either way. Um, you know, I think I think Saints will Saints will definitely be be the ones that win this game. Um, but it, it could go either way. It could be an absolutely dominant game. Or it could be a close game. I think it does depend on uh, on which side, which Saint side shows up more than the Halifax side that shows up. Halifax will go out there with a the mentality of we'll, we'll just try try go about this as as well as I can, and it'll be interesting to see whether they completely change their setup, uh, the way they play, or they'll stick to it. Um, I don't know. Whether you've seen my interview with uh, Batley Bulldogs head coach Craig Lingard, if you haven't, go watch that. Um, did that yesterday, Friday morning. Um. And he, and he was on about how sometimes championship squads change the way they play when we're playing a big big team in in the Super League, and obviously that that's not really right. Um, you should stick to your methods, and I, I think Halifax will do that today. They'll definitely put up a fight against St Helens, and um, a bit interesting to see how much of a fight. But yeah, as I say, it, it could go either a really dominant Saints victory or a really close game. I'm gonna pick it to be a close game, but Saints to just run away with it in the last twenty. Obviously, they have that. That, uh, that bit more experience and a uh, bit more match fitness. Um, they won't suffer from t from fatigue as much. Obviously, they'll, they'll be used to these close, tight uh, games with really good teams. So I'm going to go Saints by 16 in this one. Let's go to the game. So I've just arrived in Halifax. They've made a few changes to their team. Leroya, Inman and Lannan all come into the side. Saints have also made a lot of changes. We knew before the game that Roby wouldn't be in the team. Uh, he wasn't in a 21-man squad. Lusick will start at hooker. We presume he has a full 90 minute set. It'll be interesting to see how he goes. Delaney is on the bench. Uh, Davis is starting in the hooker. Benison is on the bench as well. Ritson gets a start. Also to be a brilliant game here. Two strong sides. Obviously, as I said earlier, two different two different classes of strong. But a bit interesting to see how this one goes. and turns around now, just over 20 minutes to kick off here. video ref is ruled out after just under five minutes here the chance came from a Halifax man being pushed in touch we go to the video ref for the second time in this set this time it is a try it's Joey Lussick Tommy Makinson fails to convert Lussick's kick so it's 4-0 after just over seven minutes here bad news for the Panthers here as Joe Keys leaves the pitch early on with his arm in a sling well slinged up in his shirt not too much to write home about in the last 15 minutes. Halifax have had two good chances. At Saints have had a good few chances as well. Most recently at Halifax have just had a little uh, heartbreak with Lock and Warm. So they kicked it through. Nothing comes of it. It's still 4 0 with just under 90 minutes to go in this half. A rough infringement from Halifax means Saints get good field position. They make the most of it as Jake Winfield scores a try and Tommy Makinson then converts it. It's 10-0 to St Helens with just under 15 minutes to go in this half. 
Same score for Lem to score. It's back to back tries for them. There's Tommy Makington with it, and he converts his own try from wide out. It's 16 0 to St Helens, that we're just under 12 minutes to go in this half. Halifax get three back to back sets on the Saints line. They can't make anything of it. That's uh, you, you can't be doing that against a good Saints side. Halifax have got over the line, but after a video ref check, it has not been given. Under two minutes to go here, it's still 16 0 to Saints. Half time here at the Shea and it is 16 0 to St Helens. It's been a bit of a weird half. Saints have been a dominant to a degree. Every time that they've looked like scoring or got an opportunity, they've looked like they're going to definitely post points. Obviously, this hasn't always been the case, and that's a testament to Halifax, who have been all right in defence occasionally, but they have conceded a few tries. Halifax have had their chances, they haven't uh, scored any of them, although one of them did get over the line, video referee on it out. They've had the chances, as I say, but uh, haven't really looked like they've, they've got to pose a real threat or score. Uh, that'll, be, that'll be a bit of a concern for the Halifax head coach, but over half time, anything can happen. Saints are definitely not home and dry yet. Half time here, Halifax Panthers at nil, St. Helens, St. Helens 16. Well, it's half time. This is a perfect opportunity to remind you that we are now sponsored by hezhez.co.uk. You can go for them for all of your boxing equipment needs, and 20% goes to a local boxing club of your choice. A great initiative, and you should definitely go and check them out. That Pablo Hescobar t shirt is quite something. Half time across all three games. This game is actually the closest. Obviously, it is 60 0 to St. Helens here. Lee Levins have a 22 0 lead over Waco Trinity, and then Hull KR have beaten Batley Bulldogs at 32 0. The second half is underway here at the St. Helens are in again here. This time it's Jack Wells being the corner. Tommy Makinson can't convert. It's 20 0 to St. Helens with 35 and a half minutes to go in this game. Nothing major has happened in the last 10 to 15 minutes here. Halifax have uh, thrown away two good opportunities. Saints haven't had loads of opportunities either, to be fair. It's a bit more of an equal game in this second half. 23 minutes to go, but 20 0 to Saints. Another good opportunity for Halifax. This time, Walker Wormsley is pushed in touch. Halifax are really pushing for a try now. Saints have scored again here, close to the upright. Tommy Makington converts it, and it's 26 0 to St. Helens with just over 10 minutes to go in this one. This place has just absolutely erupted here. The reason that Halifax have scored. Jacob Fairbank goes in under the sticks after a good break. He was a supporting runner and he finishes it off. Uh, Louis Jufre converts the try. It's now 20 points to 6 with just under 5 minutes to go. Halifax breakaway again. We'll have to make it two tries in two sets. The kick ahead goes out in touch though before the Halifax way can make it back to the ball. So it's, it's not a try. Uh, Saints get the ball 20 meter restart. The last action of this half is a little brawl. Uh, it's because of a high and late tackle from uh, Morgan Nos, which sees him sent off here. But that is full time. St. Helens have won here by 20 points to 6. The late red card from Morgan Nos, maybe marring it a little bit. We've got fireworks now as well. But that is full time. St. Helens 20, Halifax Panthers 6. I'd just like to apologise that I got the score wrong there a few times towards the end of that game. It did finish Halifax Panthers 6, St. Helens 26. Not 20.6 to a Saints, 26.6. Halifax can take some pride tonight from the fact that their game was the closest game of the evening. Lee beat Wakefield 40 points to 12, and that they were beating 50 0 at the, hand, at the hands of Hull Kingston Rovers. So I am now back from Halifax Panthers versus St Helens, and that was quite an interesting game to be fair. I did predict Saints to win by 16, and they won by 20, so I wasn't far off, and it was um, a relatively tight game, particularly in that second half. Um, believe um, Saint, Saints uh, won it 10 points to 6 and that tells you everything for Halifax that is, that's a massive massive achievement for them and they, they should absolutely not be disheartened by this loss um, they did they did really well they, they won uh, some key areas in that second half uh, particularly in in uh, in the attack they broke away quite a few times and uh, that that's what led to the Jacob Fairbank try um, so, so particularly in the second half, I can be really, really proud of that effort. That first half, um, obviously the two tries uh, that were back to back, kind of um, it kind of set set the tone a little bit, I guess, because Halifax have been in it up to that point. Then with them two tries, 
Of course, we were never out of it, but it, it looked like quite the mountain to climb. And Halifax, to credit credit to them, because their heads never dropped. They 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 kept fighting and kept kept going uh, all throughout that game, and they're gonna be very very proud of that. Saints, uh, it wasn't plain sailing by any means. It may they they won't be unhappy, and they probably won't be happy. They'll just be. They'll be, they'll be happy about the fruit of the next round, but it could have been a lot easier for them. And um, yeah, that, that's that's a testament to Halifax. Uh, to touch on Morgan Knowles' red card, honestly, what was he doing? He, he's, he's a blatant red, straight straight to the head. It's late. It's a terrible, terrible challenge. And with 20 seconds left on the clock, after, a, after coming back after a five-match ban, it's it's absolutely stupid. The the there's just not really any sort of rugby league intelligence there in that in that tackle, um, tackle attempt. Um, and as we said in commentary, the intent was right, but the execution was poor, and you really there was no need for it. Absolutely no need for it at all. Um, so yeah, but that that's my thoughts on that. Um, but yeah, really, since through to the next round of the cup, Halifax, they're not, but it's not the end of the world for them. They're doing not too bad in the league. They can push on now in the league. And, you know, the, the championship is very unpredictable this year. So who knows what could happen. Uh, the other two games tonight, Lee beating Wakefield 40 points to 12. Not really a surprise there. Wakefield, the season does not get any easier. Lee make it through to the quarterfinals, though. They'll be happy with that one. And then Hull KR beating Battle League by 50 points to nil. Battle League, again, them being out of a cup is not a, not necessarily a bad thing. They can focus on the 1895 Cup now, which they can definitely, definitely win. Um, if everything goes their way, well, not even if everything goes their way, they, they can. It's a very competitive in the championship, as I say, and it, the four teams that are left, it, it could genuinely go either way in in the eight to nine five cup. But my money would be on Batley to win that, um, and and the league for Batley. You know, they they're doing quite well in the championship. Uh, they've won eight of the last nine games. That does include the cup, but um, yeah, they've won eight of their last nine games. So it's going very well for Batley as well this season. So they kept, they shouldn't be too disheartened. And obviously, Hull KR is a very, very hard team to play against this year. Let alone at um, at Craven Park um, after after a full day of work. We must remember for, the, for these Batley players. So yeah, that, that's all of tonight's Challenge Cup covered. But for from from my game that I went to, it is finished. Halifax Panthers six, St Helens twenty six. Thank you for watching.